and I will take a moment to introduce a tree with uh, furrowed bark, like many other trees that I've introduced. But the shade of this bark is quite unique. It is an orangish red. I've got a dime between the furrows here to show you the size of the furrows. So about a quarter to a half inch apart. And there's actually little furrows between the big furrows. And this tree just will not grow straight. People call it a weed tree. It doesn't grow straight. It doesn't get that big. This one's kind of snaking its way up to the canopy. And actually it's getting as high as the other trees in this woods. But to find one a foot in diameter would be unusual. This one's maybe 8 or 10 inches. And this is what's called the sassafras tree. I can't see any leaves from here. But I will point them out. They are unique. And they come in different sizes and shapes. And this tree will grow in the mature woods. Here at the Cincinnati Nature Center, it's growing with some black cherry and some sugar maple and some ash. Very large ash behind me there that's dead but still standing. But these trees are usually not found in the most mature forests. If you're finding sassafras, it means at one point there was a place for these seedlings to take root that had a lot of sun. So maybe a big uh, windstorm created an opening in the woods or it was cleared for other reasons. But there are some sassafras mixed in with this mature woods here at the Cincinnati Nature Center in Claremont County, Ohio.